we need to be careful because there are really good churches, really good churches. Understood. In our area and that, hopefully, they, they want, if someone came, they would open up a whole world of connective. And, I mean, there's option. there's a church in our area. They you know hour and fifteen minutes to an hour and a half on Sunday, but then there is something every single day of the week. So I, I'm not trying to throw everybody under the bus, but what I am saying is is that there is I think one of the pushes pushes towards pronomian Christianity. If you don't know what that term means, we'll explain it. It just simply means pro-law, meaning, you know, a, a, a coming into an understanding of, you know, ultimately the Sabbath, kosher laws, and the festivals. But the, the Torah at large, the, the commands of God, is all life engulfing, right? It's, it's, not a, it's not a let's do it on Sunday kind of a thing. It's every single day. God reaches into every aspect of our life. And as he should, right? The, I mean, it's it's a way to to live an ascetic life, essentially. And I think that there is this want, this fervent want to just go all in for God and to do more than just go sit in a pew on, on Sunday for an hour. And so I think that, it's, that that is absolutely true. I think that one of the reasons that we're seeing such growth, and those who are in the church, I, you know, those who are in the standard Sunday church, I don't think they see how how rapidly this is is catching fire. In the past thirty years, we've gone from you know a couple of people here and there to massive amounts of people believing that the Sabbath should be kept, or massive amounts of people wanting to keep a Passover seder or whatever it may be. Right there, there is a push. There's a movement going on within the church, and that's good and it's bad. And the reason why is because right before you had this massive awakening within the church, if we want to call it that, what you had was you had those couple of people, those handful of people who were coming into this understanding, opening their own dojos. And they didn't have black belts, they had white belts. And instead of training people the way that they should, they opened up the front doors, they just got floods of people. And now you have these, you know, now you have people who fervently love the Lord who are just being led astray by just total and complete nonsense. It's, it's unbelievable. <sighs> Anything else on that? Um, somebody in the chat room said they want my show notes. They want me to send them <laughs> the show notes. <laughs> uh, let's, let's pause and think back here. Well, ultimately we could keep going with the idea. Well, of the, you know what? There's a verse that there's a verse that I, I really like. We could, we could just talk about uh, back to the warrior culture. I pull, I pulled this, but then I forgot about it. Second Timothy two, Paul's writing Timothy and, and just verse three, I'm just taking a snippet out. Suffer hardship with me. This is Paul to Timothy as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No soldier, and this is the NASB, no soldier in active service entangles himself in the affairs of everyday life so that he may please the one who enlisted him as a soldier. I love that because where do we get our marching orders? You know, I've had people contact me lately about, you know, some fringe calendar dispute that people are getting into. And I, I, part of me just wants that. It's like, are you a, like who enlisted you as a soldier? Like the, the people who are promoting this strange calendar, like who sent you, right? Are you, are you, you know, scripture says that, that if you're representing the word of God, you are likened to a soldier who's been enlisted, who enlisted you, you know, and are, what, what's your training? Like, are you equipped for the task that you're, that you're showing, your, that you're uh, portraying yourself to be? And because sometimes, yeah, I feel like, you know, sometimes there's people who are of the more narcissistic bent and they are just running forward with something they don't understand, but it gives them a position of uh, like leverage to just power that they have knowledge that other people don't have. And they just want everybody to get on board. Those people are never going to listen because right. they've never sat down and listened because their agenda is not one of a sheep to be, to listen and learn, but rather to be a wolf and to, to plunder. Right. But then I have to allow that somewhere there's going to be people who've been stirred up and influenced by that. And they're willing to, 
listen and learn. And so, you know, that, that always takes uh, some, some questioning. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.